What's up everyone welcome back to another interesting video on my youtube channel and today I'll be reviewing the Lineage OS which is one of the most popular and OG rooms of all time in the android community. So I've been using this on my Poco X4 Pro for a while now and I'll be talking about everything so make sure to watch the video till the end and let me tell you that only 10% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed to my channel so make sure to subscribe my channel if you like my content. So now let's get the video started. Firstly starting with the boot animation so it is really simple I mean I really liked it and yeah that's for the boot animation. Talking about the software so this ROM comes on the Android 13 and comes with the latest security patch of 5th August 2023 and for the kernel yeah this ROM comes with the Positron kernel so yeah kernel SU is supported. Now talking about the launcher, so this ROM comes on the stock Trebuchet launcher. So firstly when you open the wallpaper and style settings and move on to the change wallpaper section you get a lot of pre-included wallpapers and moving back you also get features like dark theme, themed icons and even you can also change the app grid size from this option. Moving down you also get a lot of signal icon packs and even you can also change the font style from here. In fact, you can also change the app icon shape from here like this. Moving into the home settings, you get some features for your app drawer and your home screen so yeah that's for the launcher and now let's talk about the pre-installed apps. Now talking about the pre-installed apps, so firstly you get some exclusive Lineage OS apps and you also get the AOSP dialer and messenger by which you can record the calls without letting the other person know that the call is being recorded. Nice. Now let me tell you that as this ROM comes only in the vanilla build option so you don't get the play store and any other google app pre-installed so for the play store and google you need to flash the google app package so as to get them. So I'll be talking about them later in this video so don't worry about that. Now for the camera you get this trash camera app which takes very bad photos so instead of using this you can use the google camera and for Dolby you don't get any Dolby Atmos. I flashed the Dolby Atmos using Magis so yeah that's for the pre-installed apps. Now moving into the settings so you don't get a lot of so called exclusive features because this ROM targets those users who like smooth and clean experience so yeah you don't get a lot of exclusive features although when you move into the sound and vibration settings you get a lot of charging sound presets and even you can set your own charging sound so yeah that's nice. Now moving into the system settings when you open the buttons tab you can customize your buttons according to your choice. And moving back in the status bar settings you get features like network traffic indicator which displays the live internet usage and one thing which I really liked is that you can customize it according to megabits and megabytes per second. Moving back you can also customize the battery icon in the status bar settings so yeah that's for all the customizations and features and now let's talk about the performance. Talking about the performance, so for the Antutu I got a score of about 446k which is really amazing but when I ran CPU throttle test, the CPU throttled to 79% of its max performance giving a max chip score of 168k which is pretty good but considering the throttling, I expected the same for gaming and yeah, it happened there too. I mean for the gaming test I played VGMI and I had to flash the FPS unlocker module because you don't get any FPS proof by default so as usual I played 3 TDM matches so firstly for the first TDM match I got an average of 58 FPS and the gaming test was also consistent but things started to change for the next two matches. I mean there was a lot of throttle for the second match and for the third match the gaming performance was not good. So in my experience you can play BGMI in ultra settings but if you go for extreme it's not recommended for the consistency. If I talk about 5G so yeah 5G works fine without any problem as you can check the speeds are fine so yeah that's for 5G. Now if I talk about the battery backup so it's amazing I mean I got about 9 hours of battery backup on normal to heavy usage and of course I used my phone on 120Hz and really I was surprised by the battery backup so that's all for the ROM and now let me talk about the cons. So for the cons I mean the developer should have included the google camera instead of this trash camera app and apart from this I don't have any other queries. 
Now, if I talk about my conclusion, so this is one of the best rooms for amazing battery backup and clean experience. And by the way, the RAM management was also amazing in my experience. So if you are looking for a room with insane battery backup and you don't need any extra customizations, you can definitely consider this room. And for the flashing procedure, I have already made a video on it. So make sure to check it out, link in the description. And in that video, I have also shown you that how you can flash the Google app package for the vanilla rooms. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like it, share it with your friends. And most importantly, sub to our channel, join our telegram group and channel. So goodbye and take care.